In tonight's Military Matters, Three Corps is celebrating 100 years as America's hammer. It was back in World War I when the Corps soldiers served in Europe. Three Corps didn't arrive to Fort Hood until the 1950s and then was reactivated in 1961. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline speaks with two veterans and community leaders about the past and what they hope to see in the future. Retired Lieutenant General Paul Butch Bunk and retired Command Sergeant Major Don Lee McMullen both arrived to Fort Hood back in 1962 in divisions under three corps. They look back on the Corps' impact. This, is, this Corps has made a great impact on foreign policy that the United States has enacted over the last 100 years. Retired Command Sergeant Major Don Lee McMullen has been back and forth serving in divisions under three corps eight times with the 1st Armored Division and 2nd Armored Division at the time. Uh, but all of it was World War II wood. Uh, motor pools were gravel, sort of semi, and a lot of mud when it rained. At one time back in the 1990s when General Funk led three Corps, the Corps saw its peak numbers at about 49,000 soldiers. Funk says the three Corps represents mighty power. Take the 1st Cavalry Division, for example. If you move the, in a column of brigades in combat, the front at Fort Hood, the rear would be at Austin. You know, Teddy Roosevelt said, speak softly and carry a big stick. This is the big stick. But looking ahead, both Generals Funk and McMullen say three corps needs more combat power. I hope that we get more troops at Fort Hood because Fort Hood is, and third corps is the best place to train. And Funk says robots might be the key to the next 50 years for America's hammer. And our notion was, let's replace, put the robots where soldiers are in greatest danger. That would be scouts, it would be combat engineers, people like that. Three Corps will be having a big birthday celebration outside Three Corps headquarters at the flagpole at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And what's a birthday celebration without some cake? There will be a cake cutting too. On Fort Hood, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News. Thank you, Jillian. And we'll be back with a look at how a 23-year-old Texas man has stepped up to raise his six siblings.